every day. We can figure it out on the way. <laughs> My name is Olivia. Welcome to my channel. So I've been working on this video idea for a couple months now during the course of quarantine. The idea came to me because I've been feeling super nostalgic lately. I am a 90s baby, so I was a kid growing up in the early 2000s. And I've noticed that all these fashion trends and styles that I used to wear when I was a kid during that time era are now back in style and all these girls on Instagram and all these clothing stores that I shop from have models wearing these bits and pieces and I'm looking at them and I'm like hey I had those glasses growing up or I had that same outfit or something super similar to it so it got me thinking what if I recreated some outfits that I used to wear growing up in the early 2000s now with a little bit of a modern twist so Am I dating myself with this video? Oh my God. <laughs> when I think of my fashion icons during that era, I think of Hilary Duff, AKA Liz McGuire. I mean, if you were a kid growing up in the early 2000s, if you were not inspired by the things that she wore on that show, you're lying. You know you had the crimped hair and the butterfly clips. Mary Kate and Ashley, I am guilty of watching Passport to Paris one too many times. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh my God, anybody? <laughs> Belinda, for those of you who don't know who she is, she's considered the Latin pop princess. I was heavily influenced by her growing up, so she was definitely a big influence on what I wore. And another influence of mine would be Avril Lavigne, like early Avril Lavigne, complicated stage with a tie guilty of wearing that as well. So I have come prepared. I have butterfly clips and tattoo chokers. I mean, these just scream early 2000s to me. And I've got these glasses. I have seen these all over Instagram. I had a pair very, very similar to these growing up. Insert photo here. I definitely don't have that same confidence anymore. Did I buy these for the purpose of this video? Yes, yes I did. But you know what? They make me feel really good and really happy because it reminds me of a happy time in my life. And that is how I justify my purchase. <laughs> So I'm going to recreate some looks. I do have some pictures of outfits that I wore documented. Some I unfortunately don't have pictures of, but I want to show you some things that influenced me growing up. So I'll probably insert some of those as well. So without further ado, let's take a trip to the year 2000. The first look I'm doing is from when I was 10 years old. This is from like 2002. That should tell you how old I am. <laughs> yeah, let's just see how it goes. Insert photo here. So we're gonna recreate that look and like I said, modernize these a little bit to reflect some styles that I would still wear today. Along with these outfits, I'm also gonna be doing the hair that I would have worn back in the day. So this shall be fun. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This is totally taking me back. Going to go change into outfit number one. <laughs> I can't even give a straight face. <laughs> All right, so this is the first outfit and I did not wear the platform sandals because I'm never gonna wear those ever again. But yeah, this outfit would not be complete without the boa and the sunglasses. I wore this many, many times when I was 10 years old. How do you think I did? What do you think, Crystal? I got this top from Shein, and this skirt is from ASOS. This is a little bit mini versus the long skirt that I wore back in the day. This choker is also from Shein, and these glasses, I can't remember, but I'll be sure to link them down below. Ooh, she from the early 2000s. <laughs> Alright, 
camera was gonna die, so we had to switch to the phone while we get ready for these different looks. Outfit number two calls for some horns. Gonna start recreating that look. I think I got it! <laughs> ah. Alright, I'm gonna go change into outfit number two. Meanwhile. This was also one of my favorite outfits growing up. I thought I was pretty lucky to find a shirt that looked really, really, really close to the shirt that I had growing up, except mine said princess going through it. So this shirt I got from Shein as well. These jeans are from The Gap and we definitely just transformed them. Then I just paired them with some Adidas that look like some kid shoes I used to have growing up. And that's my outfit. So we are going to transform these pants. I bought a brand new pair from Gap to replicate my favorite jeans that I had growing up. So this is the before. So we started off by sketching out exactly what we were going to paint. Then we used fabric paint from Hobby Lobby to go over our sketches with just some paint brushes. Ooh, doggos. <laughs> then we put on the butterfly patches. I actually bought those off of Amazon and added just some more paint details. Shout out to my sis for helping out. So I'm super, super happy with how these turned out. I plan to wear these all the time now, and if I ever have a merch line, I think I definitely sell these. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you to buy a pair. Do you like it? High five if you like it. Oh boy. All right, moving on to outfit number three. This I don't have a picture for reference. This is just some pieces that I used to wear when I was a kid, and hopefully it comes out pretty close. <laughs> I feel like a little kid. All right, I'm gonna go change now. <laughs> This is inspired by an outfit I used to wear all the time as a kid. It was originally a long cardigan that had feathers around the seam of the edges and around the hood. I obviously couldn't find something like that today, so I kind of did a modern version. And these tie front sweaters are really in right now, so bought one of those and we sewed on a boa. This is definitely like a tank I would have worn growing up with something like this, and I just paired it with some shorts to add more of a modern look to it. I'm going to recreate this cardigan that I had growing up that I used to love. So this one was a lot easier. We simply sewed on the boa to the top and then we actually had extra enough to put around the wrists and voila! I bought this shirt from Shein. I bought the tie front sweater from Shein. I bought the boa from some feather store online that I'll link down below. And these are some shorts that I already owned from Delia's, which is a total 90s, early thousands girls clothing store. Oh, and these butterfly clips are from Target. I had a mishap happen. I ordered some butterfly clips from Shein and I will show you what those look like. So the butterfly clips I used to wear growing up were like iridescent, clear. I could not find those and I thought I had ordered some from Shein, but this is what they sent me. These are huge. This is like for half a pony, not for your face. So that was a mishap. I can't return them either. <laughs> so I'm stuck with these big butterfly clips. Maybe use more of them. There you have it. For the last outfit I'm going to do, it's definitely more of my early jeans, and it was a very much Avril Lavigne inspired look. So it's not a true thousands look if you don't have your hair kind of crimped. So I'm gonna try to do that without a crimper. <laughs> crimper? Crimper. Without a crimper.
All right, this is how I'm gonna try to achieve from tear. All right, let's see if that worked. I used to own a real crimper growing up, so I did not do this, but it's cool to see that it works. <laughs> Gonna go change. Outfit number four! I used to do this pose all the time in my early teens. So this is from, oh my gosh, this is probably like 2003, 2004 era. I bought this shirt from Shein. These cargo pants are from Forever 21. I used to wear cargo pants all the time. I had them in like all sorts of colors. And I used to have a lot of shirts that said angel, princess, spoiled, all those phrases. I felt like it wasn't an early 2000s outfit if it didn't say angel on it. I had a necklace like this growing up that I got on vacation in Cancun and I don't know what happened to it so I bought a replica also from Shein and I used to wear chains all the time luckily these cargo pants actually came with this chain so it was very appropriate and I used to wear really thick platform tennis shoes because I wasn't tall enough to get on any of the rides at like Disneyland so I used to cheat and wear platform shoes so these ones are from Vans they are new and I actually really love them because it's like a modern twist on what I used to wear. This is my preteen, 13 year old outfit that was inspired by like Avril Lavigne and Belinda, that like punk rock era. I also crimped my hair because I used to crimp my hair like just partially. And here you have it. I feel like I'm 13 years old again. <laughs> Where's your skateboard, huh? I used to actually ride a Razor scooter. You know, one of those that used to karate chop your ankles. <laughs> And this is my last outfit, guys. Does my breath smell? And this concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me recreate some of my favorite outfits from when I was a child and put a modern twist to them. In all honesty, I had lots of fun recreating these outfits. Like I said, I've been feeling super nostalgic. So doing this video really put me in a good mood. Although it was difficult to shop for things because a lot of things were out of stock and not in my size. I had a lot of fun shopping and, and getting excited. And my sister helped me. We had a lot of fun just kind of putting pieces together. So if you think I did a good job recreating these outfits from my childhood, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below which outfit was your favorite. Outfit one, two, three, or four. Also, if you would like to see me recreate outfits from another era in my life, maybe even earlier on in my childhood and put a modern twist to them, be sure to leave me a comment down below that you would like to see that because I think that I would totally be down to do that video. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. If you guys want to see photos of these recreated outfits, be sure to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye!